Follow along with Garrett on your cell phone or tablet with the Melodic Interactive Companion application. Also available are easy-to-follow lesson books only through MelodicInteractive.com. All right, now we're ready to get started. So we're first going to start with what we call the quarter notes. The quarter notes basically mean that we hit the drum. The quarter notes are drawn as a filled-in circle and a line or they could be an X, which we'll get to in a minute. So first, we look at number one, we have four quarter notes. Notice that those notes are in the third space up of the stanza. That third space is our snare drum. So on number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play one, two, three, four on our snare drum. We start that over and over again though, and we don't wanna pause, so we wanna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You saw how I went right into that. I didn't break. I didn't go one, two, three, four, one. I wanna go right in. Also, what we wanna do while we're playing this is we wanna use a different hand each time. So you wanna go right, then left, then right, then left. Because this whole line is played just on the snare drum. Okay, now, now that we're able to understand what quarter notes are, let's try to put them in a drum set perspective. So first, we're gonna look at beat two. We see quite a bit of things going on there, but let's break it down a little bit. Up top, above the stanza, we have X's. Those X's are my hi-hat cymbals. So, with just my right hand, let's play on the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. Good. Now the other drum that we haven't talked about is the notes that are very at the bottom. They're right at the first space. Those are our bass drums. They're played with our right foot. So let's put them together with our hi-hats and play one, two, three, four together. Awesome. Now we already learned which drum's in the middle. That's our snare drum. So, so far we've got our right hand on the hi-hat, our right foot on the bass drum, and now our left hand is gonna play the snares. Notice that the snares, though, they don't play on all four. They only play on the two and the four. So on the one, we're gonna hit the hi-hat and the bass drum foot together. On the two, we're gonna hit the hi-hat, snare drum, and bass drum together. On the three, just the hi-hat and the bass drum again. And then the four, the hi-hat, snare drum, and bass drum again. So, let's try the whole beat, beat number two. Awesome. Okay, so now let's take a look at beat three. The first thing we want to try to figure out is, is what's different. If you look at it, you see that our hi-hats are the same. It's still one, two, three, four. Our snare drums are the same. Still two, still four. So the change is going to come from the bass drum. On beat two, we had the bass drum on one, two, three, four. But on beat three, we're going to put the bass drum only on one and three. So let's try beat three. Two, three, four. 
Awesome. Quarter notes, simple, basic of everything that we do. But there's more notes than that. The quarter notes are that beat, that one, that two, that three, that four. But we need other notes. So the first note we're gonna learn is the eighth note. That note comes in between the quarter notes. You can see that they draw a little line above the top to let you know that it's not a quarter note, it's an eighth note. The way that we count all eighth notes is the same. We say, and. So if we put all the eighth notes in with the quarter notes, the count is one and, two and, three and, four and. And that's exactly what we're gonna do on number four. We're gonna play on just the snare drum. We're gonna go right, left, right, left again. And we're gonna play one and, two and, three and, four and. So let's try that, number four. All right, so let's try to put that into the drum set perspective now. Let's first start with just our hi-hats. If you look, our hi-hats now are playing that eighth note pattern. So with my right hand, we're gonna play just the hi-hats, the one and two and three and four and. And make sure you're not just saying the ands, but you're actually hitting the hi-hat on those ands also. So let's try just that hi-hat pattern, that one and two and three and four and. Okay, now let's take a look at our bass drum pattern again. Our bass drum's back on all the numbers. So we're gonna be playing our bass drum and our hi-hat together on the one, on the two, on the three, and on the four. But on the ands, we're gonna be playing just the hi-hat. So let's try that, bass drum and hi-hat pattern together. Great, so now we've got our bass drum and hi-hat, let's pop that snare back in. That snare is gonna be on the two and the four. So now we're gonna hit both the hi-hat and the bass drum on the one, just the hi-hat on the and, and then your hi-hat and snare drum and bass on the two, and then just the hi-hat on the and. The three is gonna be hi-hat and bass drum, the and is just your hi-hat, your four is gonna be hi-hat, snare, and bass, and then your four just the end. So let's try putting that whole thing together. One, two, three, four. All right, great. Now let's take a look at number six. So what's different between number six and number five? Well, the hi-hat pattern looks the same, and it is. It's the one and two and three and four and. Snare drum's still on two and four, so once again, the change is in the bass. On number five, we had the bass drum on one, two, three, four. On number six, we're gonna put the bass drum on just the one and the three. This beat is the most important beat in all of the drum lessons. If you can learn this beat and play this beat comfortably, there's nothing you can't be taught. So really take your time, get comfortable with this beat, and develop.
Great job. Now we've got our first beat. So stick with us, and next what we're going to cover is some eighth notes on the bass drum. <laughs> 